What's up, everybody? Canuck here. Very exciting times in the world of PGA Tour 2K21 course design as the TGC Tour's Dream Team Course Design Competition submission window has opened. Uh, for those that don't know, very cool design contest that gets run over on TGC Tours as 30 of the best designers kind of go head-to-head -head in a team contest to see which team of designers reigns supreme and we are going to see some outstanding courses released over the next few weeks. And please make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are going to be playing through every single one of them. So if you guys want to see where the best of the best, hottest new courses in this game are, I'm going to be playing them and releasing videos almost daily over the next few weeks. So lots of content coming. Anyway, we are going to kick it off today with the tributary this is from heisenberg i believe he represents the red team and heisenberg first out of the gate i uh, he's a veteran to these design competitions and because he's australian and takes advantage of uh the him being one of the first ones to get that submission window he's usually the first to publish because he's done well ahead of time and again he is the first to publish with the tributary which came out uh on Tuesday morning, the 30th, so earlier today. Anyway, for those that don't know Heisenberg, a few courses of his that come to mind. Um, for National Treasure, he did his Argentinian course, uh, Rio Villegas. Uh, he did Chiang Mai, Thailand, Cape Clements, Tasmania. Uh, what else does he have? Sattler Heads. Um, he's, he's just, he's, in, he's incredible, and you're going to see we're going to be kicking things off with a bang here with the tributary. So let's jump in. Uh, fairly short course. It's 6,800 yards. We're going to be playing uh, pin number one for all of these. You know what? No. Let's hopefully we can remember and let's play pin. Let's play pin four for all of them. Why not? Let's play pin four for all these. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to get things going. So yeah, hopefully we're going to get some, uh, uh, there's going to be lots of publishes over the next few weeks. So I'm going to be trying to do some daily videos and highlight all the courses in the competition. So like I said, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. It always helps with uh, the old YouTube algorithms. It would be much appreciated. Anyway, wow, look at this. Let's kick things off with a bang. An absolutely stunning look here at this first hole we're gonna do a little fly over here and uh and see what we've got and wow that is an absolutely stunning look it really reminds me of his argentinian course with that backdrop there but i mean he's gotten to the detail of he got, he got smoke coming out the chimney here and this looks just we're in for a treat i think as this looks beautiful Got a little village up here. I'm sure we'll see more of that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Got a little mid-length par four to start. And Dream Team playthroughs are underway as we put one right down the middle. All right. Ooh, lovely little first shot here. So I'm going to try to keep these to mostly kind of playthroughs. I'm not a judge in this competition or anything like that. So I'm just going to be playing through and kind of enjoying them and seeing if I can put up some low scores on these courses. Oh, we got a very fortunate bounce there. Oh, stop. Stop, stop, stop. All right, we'll take that. And what do we got here? 19 feet. 178 greens, a little bit quick. Ah. All right, put in our par, and we're underway. Yeah, Heisenberg, definitely one of the better uh, designers in terms of really creating an environment. Um, I mean, his golf holes are great. Like, look at that little bridge here. That's really cool. Almost like a little rope bridge. Um, yeah, some outstanding sight lines here. All right. Got 132. We'll go 142. Love those bunkers in front there. Looking really nice. Get going. Get going. 
Oof. When I did the National Treasure playthroughs, I said I was going to get a hole-in-one, and I, it never happened. Is Dream Team going to be the time where I get a hole-in-one in a playthrough? That would be sweet. All right, we're in for birdie. Beautiful little par three there. Okay, we have got a mid-length up the hill par four here. See, struggle a little bit with uh, with shadows, but with this low lighting, it, it actually turns out not too bad. I love that look off to the left there. Almost looks like a little kind of swamp off to the left. Very cool. Very cool. Just really just shows. And we're going to see some just people pushing the limits of this designer in this competition because I feel like people have gotten so, so good at uh, just making not only like we don't even have to talk about technical stuff anymore. The, that's the thing with this competition is every every one of these designers, you can't really fault them on anything technical anymore because they've pretty much got that in the bag. It really is going to come down to, you know, whole design, interest, and, you know, just overall flow of the golf course. As that's where we're at with design competitions now. It's not just like, you know, we're not really looking at bunkers and transitions and things like that anymore. It obviously plays a role, but all these designers can do it in their sleep now. So it's not even something really considered too much. Okay, fourth hole. We got to clear this little creek here. It's way down the hill. I think we can clear this with ease. Oh, not with when we get a red fast. Just jinxed myself. Get a good kick off that rock. Oh, ho, ho, ho. do we get lucky there? My goodness. <laughs> All right, we got to avoid the nasty, nasty front bunker here. All right. Heisenberg, very good at kind of the sand belt style and look of his bunkers. I think him being Australian and probably you know, having experience with the, with those sand belt type courses uh, really help in the look of his bunkers. I think they look really, really sharp. Okay, well, we got 25 feet. Get going. Get in. Woo! Big pot. Poor Eagle gets us to three under par. I love it. Okay, 240. We got 382 here. This little bunker, kind of a cool bunker here. Almost like a little stream, but it's a bunker. I don't even know what we call this, but it's cool, whatever it is. And I like that natural hazard in front of the green there. Oh, that, that, that makes things interesting. This, uh, I think we're going to... Uh, we go for this mm, not what we wanted to do it's got to sit ah that's it i like that drive though really like that drive all right we're gonna try to do a flop here get going get a nice bounce oh i like it we'll take that we will take that all right and then we are for birdie. We're off to a great start here. Ooh, look at this little village coming into play there. Loving the detail. Really cool looks there. I love it. All right, pretty big green. Lots of opportunities for... That is a tough pin, though. It is sitting right on some yellow there. That's a bit of a nasty one. Uh, okay. I'll try to get her close. That's about as good as I can hit it. Needs to start kicking hard to the left now. A little bit long. That's okay. All right, we got to be careful with this one. Did I play enough break? I don't think I did. Nah, I didn't. Did not. Did not do it. Ooh, it almost missed the comebacker. But All right, nice little picturesque par three there for the sixth as always let me know what you're thinking of this of this course leave it in the comments below i think it's an absolute stunner here i love just the waste area here off the t there just to the to the right 
here on seven looks outstanding. Got a couple cross bunkers we got to deal with here. And I think I'm right in one. Oh, sit. Oh, good bounce. I'll take it. Leaves me 225 yards. You can kind of play this little hill here. I like this. Uh, I think we're going to play the five wood still. Needs to sit. Needs to sit. Take left. I like it. Oh, maybe not. Uh, okay. All right, we can live with that. Okay. Get in there, baby. Boom. There it is. Another eagle. Two eagles on the par fives. We'll take that. Adding to eight. Okay, looks like we're going to try to stay left to center here. Just an absolutely great, great golf course to kick off this competition. Yeah, he's a master of just the, the rocky cliffs and just some really, really neat looks here. Eh, we'll see how that is. We'll take it. There it is. Got 178. Go in. The putter's hot. The putter is hot. As we make another birdie, getting us to seven under through eight holes. The Eagles help. The Eagles definitely help. Okay, we got a little bit of a shorter par four here. Again, we've got the bunkers kind of split in the fairway, giving us options. I think we can clear this, especially with this wind. Uh, not the line I want, but we should be fine. Oh, really got caught up in the rough there on that bounce. Not what I wanted. So, bit of a crappy lie here. Go. That'll be just fine. That'll be just fine. That's not a good putt. That is not a good putt at all. Ah. All right. Still, I'll take a 29 on the front. That's for darn sure. Okay, heading to the 10th. Again, a bit of a split fairway here. I think we can make it to the far fairway. Love the look off the tee on this hole. Could be in trouble here unless it kicks hard right. Uh, kick right, not enough though. All right, did not get a great lie out of the heavy rough. Mm, might be coming in a little too hot. Great marshy look there at the back as well. Really good, nice, cool looking, expansive views here. Oh, close. Actually, no, not really that close. <laughs> All right, in for par. Heading to 11, 212 yards. We oh, got the five hybrid in our hands. Is that going to be the club? I think so. Well. Uh, right in between clubs here. I think this is going to be a bit long. Or not. This could be perfect. Huh. Never mind. Great shot there. Bit of a tricky little eight footer. Yeah, that one had a lot of movement on it. Hmm. No problem. As we move to the 12th long par four, we got to watch water left. 
Big bunker to the right. Beautiful shot there. Right down the middle. Giving us a little downhill approach. Front pin. I think we can use the wind to kind of let this carry on. See if we can just trickle it onto the green here. Yeah, we get a bit of a fast. That was short anyway. Okay. Okay. Get in. Ooh, chip in, baby. Yes. Getting us to eight under par. Ooh, love this. Lighting helps it. He is he is liking using kind of bunk or bunkers or water to really cut the fairway, but I'm I'm good with that. It looks it looks great here. Ooh, that's scary. Can I make that? I don't know if I want to take that on. So yeah, he's that that that's really the uh, the name of the game. Um strategy wise off the T. Now some may question, is he using that too much? I don't know. I like the challenge of it. But I could I could maybe see an argument for that from from some judges, but again, I'm not a judge. I'm fine with it personally. Ooh, I like that. Sit. Love it. Bingo. That's how you play that. We could have been risky, but you know what? We knocked it back a little bit. Played a perfect pitch. Tap in. Oh, this is a bit of an interesting one. This uh, big green, kind of in this little valley here. Almost a blind shot into this, this pin here, but very cool. Ooh, tricky little one here. Not sure I got the, the club for it. Oh, I pulled this left. Oh, this is going to hit off this slope. Oh, very fortunate bounce. We'll take that. We'll take that indeed. Little chip. Do we have another one? Oh, almost. Almost. We'll tap it in. Fun little par three there. I like that. I like that one. All right, 15, short, drivable four. Here we go. Uh, I'm between clubs, though. I think the driver's going to be way too much, so... You know, we're going to play smart. We're going to play her smart. Lay up to there. Little flop shot, get a bounce. Oh, stop, baby. There we go. All right, nineteen feet. Could have spent a little more time on that pot, but hey. All right, coming into the home stretch here, tributary. Just a, a great opening a great opening course to kick off Dream Team playthroughs. As I think we're in for a treat this month. We're gonna see some outstanding golf courses and uh hope you guys join me for the ride as we uh, we experience all these. I love this one. A little bit of a blind uphill long par four here. But a very generous fairway. Some very natural undulations here. Definitely using the land as uh, the main hazard on this hole, which I love. Bit of a bit of a departure from the other holes, but uh, I like it. I like it. A little bit long there, but we're okay. Get in. There's a pot. There's a putt that drops for us. Getting us to double digits under par. All right. Just a little baby par three here. Coming in at just under 100 yards here on the 17th from this pin, from these tees and pins. Let's see if we can get her close. Just a stunning look there. The entire plot looks great. 
Come back. A little spin back. All right. Easy little tap in, birdie. As we head to the final hole, looking to be a par five. Big, wide open, expansive fairway. Let her fly here. Grip and rip. We find right in the middle of the fairway, but we're going to get a bit of an awkward side hill lie into a relatively small green here. Land movement's really nice on this hole. It's really good on all the court, all the holes, but very nice here. Ugly shot there. Putting us into the heavy rough. Uh, ooh, that could have been bad. I thought it was going to roll out. Could have been good. It could have got, could have dunked it right in the hole. Ah, a bit of a disappointing R to finish things off, but hey, we'll take it. That is an 11 under 59 on this par 70. And yeah, like I said, absolutely beautiful way to kick off the Dream Team and uh, Red Team represented well. Heisenberg with the Tributary. Go play it. Let me know what you think in the comments, as always. And really looking forward to seeing what people are bringing to this competition this month so buckle in we got a lot more to go and uh yeah hope to see it in the next one and uh we'll see you later